Hey guys, welcome back to another video and here we have again my MSI GT72 Dominator Pro and uh, I will be trying to install MSI True Color. So I already have the uh, True Color downloaded right here. I'm extract it, my downloads, I'll go scroll all the way down, it's right here. So this is what happens when you try to install MSI True Color. So let's try to do it right now. I'm gonna run this administrator. Press yes. And it says, uh, this message pop pops up. It says, this system is not supported. Which uh, I know it should be because uh, most Dominator Pros come with uh, True Color installed. So let's go to export over here. Let's figure out what is happening. So here you see all these different panels for uh, the various MSI laptops out there. So there you see LG panels, uh, these other, uh, I don't know what, what they are, but let's just click on one. You're gonna see a backup bin, ADJ bin. You can see all these different things. So in order to find the monitor that we have, we're gonna go to device manager. We're gonna go to the monitor section, which is right here. We're gonna click on our our built-in laptop monitor. I had to disconnect my two external monitors. So please make sure you do that so you don't confuse your monitors. We're gonna go to properties. Here we see that it's connected it's connected to the GTX 980M. We're gonna go to details. In details we're gonna go to hardware IDs. And then if you see there it says monitor backslash CMM 1735. If we go over here we see that we already have a CMN 1735 so let's make sure we click on that. Alright, let's exit out of this. And here we go. We have our backup bin file and our adjoined bit fi uh, bin file. These two are going to be used in order to um, install the MSI True Color. Now that we have established that our monitor is supported, I'm going to click on this EXE uh, run as administrator. Yes. And we're going to try to install it manually. So uh, let's click English. OK. I agree. Yep. I want all of that. Click Next. Install. Let's wait for it. Complete it. All right, let's click next. And it says here, MSI True Color has been installed on your computer. All right, we're gonna try to launch it. So now, here you're gonna see the files native.bin and backup.bin do not exist. This is not a problem. Okay, so let's go to program data, which is where our files, uh, our files should be. Uh, we're gonna look for look if we go to program files x86. Uh, the the installation uh, it put a portrait displays, which is somewhere around here. Okay, program files. Yeah, there you go. So this is a, this is what was supposed to be installed, but now we see portrait displays. Let's go to program data. Portrait displays, displays is not there. Let's make a new folder. Let's call it that. Let's call it Portrait Displays. Alright. Now that that is there, uh, let's make a true color and Mind the spelling, uppercase T, lowercase c on the color all together. And now, let's copy 
our bin files. This is the 1735. Let's put that over here. All right, ADJ. Let's see if this runs. So if it doesn't, uh, I've got to Google through the uh, through forums and things like that. Well, search through forums and things like that. So if it doesn't work, oh, oh, there we go. It works. So it used to be that the file was supposed to be named native.bin, but now it's not. Now it's adj.bin. So that's really good. And you can already see the differences in colors. So let's see if we put it in gamer mode. You see you get those blue hues. We put anti-blue. It's more yellow. sRGB. So it follows the sRGB curve. Uh, designer. Office. And movie. Warmer tones. So see here. sRGB. Brightness. We can bring it all the way up. And we can adjust the color temperature to whatever we want. Designer, here you choose whatever it is you want. So sRGB, Rec. 7, uh, 709, Native, Warm, Neutral, Cool. There you choose what it is that you want. So uh, I'm glad that actually worked. So um, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. It took me a while just to searching through forums, searching through uh, the MSI forums, questions that people have put in the past and all that, but I seem to have figured it out from just uh, looking at the files that are there and just kind of remembering old installations of this uh, this laptop. It's This laptop has been with me for close to three, three years? Three years or more? I mean been a pretty good laptop and I missed the true color I had it to format it and um, uh, the true color went missing after that which I didn't like uh, so again if you formatted your computer or if you did anything anything different to your computer where you don't have your uh, original installation you can follow these steps to install the MSI true color so I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to comment. I'll, I'll answer as soon as I can. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.